Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mr. Doodle Math here, and today we're going to talk about writing the equation for parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay? Um, we already know that the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b. Well, this is one equation for a line. It's the slope-intercept form. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go from slope-intercept form. We're going to use the slope-intercept form to identify what uh, either our, um, our slope is and then find a slope for the parallel line and the perpendicular line and then put it into this equation here. Okay? So, let's first put, uh, um, let's put, let's put a, a line in this equation. Alright, so let's use uh, the points given here. They have 0, 4, and the other point is, looks like uh, 3, negative 2. 3, negative 2. So the first thing you want to do is, number one, find the slope. This is for putting anything, any uh, set of points into a, an equation for a line. Find a slope. All right, so we use the slope formula that John told us about yesterday, right? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay? This is X1, this is Y1, this is X2, this is Y2. Okay? Negative 2 minus 4, negative 6. 3 minus 0, 3. Okay, so then our slope, we can simplify this to be negative 2. So our slope is negative 2. So we found the slope. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you can, um, you're going to use the point and the slope to, uh, to put in um, slope intercept form. That's this, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so here our slope is negative 2. That's our slope. Um, x is going to be what? 0, y is 4. Okay? We'll do this to solve for b. Okay? So let's first put in this equation. So y is 4 equals m x plus b. Okay? So the next thing you want to do is solve for b. Once you solve for b, then you can put it into this equation. So you have 4 times. 4 equals negative 2 times 0. Negative 2 times 0 is what? 0. zero. Therefore, 4 in this particular problem equals b. Okay? Once we solve for b, we can, uh, we can rewrite it into slope-intercept form. So, y equals m, which is negative 2, x plus b, which is 4. So that's the equation for the line. Okay, use the slope intercept form. Okay, now we're going to find the equation for a line that is parallel to that line. And so if they say, find, write the equation of a line that's parallel to uh, this line going through a particular point, then we use the slope and the point. So give me a point, anybody, shoot out anything. Five. Uh, ten, two. Four, two. All right, ten, two came the loudest, all right? So we have this equation for the line here, right? We have this equation. The equation is negative 2x plus 4. That's the first equation. So parallel to uh, this line, the slopes, the parallel slopes are always equal. All right? So he said 10 and 2. So it's going to be parallel going through this point. We'll do the first thing. We find the slope. The slope is negative 2. All right? And we're going to use the point, which is 10 and 2 and the slope, and we're going to put it into SI. So we're going to have y2 equals mx plus b. Everybody good with this part? We good? So now we're going to have 2 equals, what's negative 2 times 10? Negative 20 plus b. Okay? And then solve for b. Solve for b. Add 20 to both sides. So B equals 22. And then finally, we write the slope-intercept. Okay? Slope-intercept is going to be Y equals M, negative 2, because it's a parallel line. The parallel lines have the same slope. X plus the B that we just found. Okay? That's the equation for the line parallel. Okay? What, pray tell, would be the slope of a perpendicular line? If you use the same information. If the original line is negative 2, what's the perpendicular slope? 
One over two? Is the negative one over two or, or one over two? One over two. Why is it one over two? It's an opposite. It's an opposite reciprocal, right? Okay, good. So, let's find equation for the line. So this is the parallel line. Let's find the equation for the line going through a given point. Give me a new point. Eight, nine. Four or five. All right, eight, nine came out the hardest. Eight, nine, right? Eight, nine, and we're going to find the equation for the line perpendicular to this line. Any one of these two lines, because they're both parallel. Perpendicular to this line going through this point. Okay? So we'll do the same thing. Find the slope. The slope for the perpendicular line is the opposite reciprocal. So it's m is... 1 half, x is going to be 8, and y is going to be 9, okay? So we're going to, number 2, use the point and the slope to put it to SI, okay? So y, 9, equals m, which is 1 half, x, which is 8, plus b. Everybody good with that? It's the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. All right, 1 half times 8 is what? 4. 4. The shine has worked out perfectly for us. We didn't have to deal with a fraction. All right, now we solve for B. Number three, solve for B. So we add four to both sides, subtract four to both sides. Why? Right, so we subtract four to both sides. B equals five. Finally, we write, rewrite it into slope intercept form. So it'll be Y equals M X plus B. Right? So, this is how this is how we write an equation for a line parallel, and this is how we write an equation for a line perpendicular to a given line. Right? So, they'll either give us two points where we have to find the slope, or they'll give us an equation like so, and say going through these points like this. Right? And you follow, if you follow these steps, every time you should get there. You're guaranteed to get there. Okay? Any questions? All right. Let's do the math out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.